Today, we're going to talk about converting your passive subwoofer into an active subwoofer. Here's the situation. I have an audio receiver powering all of my speaker systems, but the only subwoofer output it has is an RCA jack output for an active subwoofer. Now, I don't have an active subwoofer, but I do have an old passive subwoofer laying around somewhere. So I wanted to find a way to power that one that would be cheaper than buying a new subwoofer. I did some looking on the internet and I found this. I thought, oh, it, it looks pretty cheap, but worst case scenario, I'm out of 10 bucks. So I bought it. The thing works super well. I've actually purchased a couple more of these little amps for other small projects I've done. So, how can you do it? There's a couple things you need. Number one, a passive subwoofer of some kind. Number two, a little amp box. Number three, an RCA cable. Number four, speaker wire. And number five, a 12 volt adapter that will plug into the wall and power this little amp box. Take the RCA cable and plug it into the subwoofer output on your receiver. Take the other end and plug it into one of the channels on the amp. Now, it doesn't matter which channel you use as long as you plug it, your speaker into the same one. Connect your raw wires to the same channel of the amp box, making sure the positive and negative wires are in the right jack. Connect the power adapter and secure the amp box however you like. I just screwed it into the wall. Pretend that rat's nest of cables behind your receiver just doesn't exist. Take the raw wires and route them somehow to the location you want your subwoofer to be. Attach your wires to the sub, making sure the positive and negative wires are in the right jacks. You should be ready to turn everything on and go. So the advantage of this little amp is it gives you a reasonable sub sound for incredibly cheap money. It's also nice to have the subwoofer control box right next to the receiver. Most active subs usually have it down low or on the back of the sub box. This amp also allows me to cut out treble frequencies, so the subwoofer is only trying to output low hertz frequency sounds, which is what you want. If you try and send a lot of high sounds through your sub, like for example just plugging it into one of the speaker channels, it sounds like garbage. Now, on most receivers, the sub output channel already cuts out the high hertz frequencies, but on the off chance that that channel isn't working and you need to run it through one of the aux out channels, this little amp box will take care of those for you. This box also gives me an easy converter from the RCA cable that the receiver outputs to the raw wire that the subwoofer receives. Comment below if you have any questions.